Hello, my name is Janet Kilcommons. My husband Kevin serves as a deacon at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish in Three Bridges, Diocese of Metuchen. I am grateful to have this opportunity to share with you what it means to me to be the wife of a deacon. Ten years ago this summer, Kevin shared with me his desire to enter the diaconate formation program. I remember thinking, how will his vocation as a deacon affect his first vocation as a husband? But once Kevin entered the diaconate formation program, we began to have many conversations about our faith and our spiritual journeys. We discussed scripture, the history of our church, the church fathers, prayer, and how all this was impacting our lives and our marriage. During his formation process, I was prepared to witness a change in growth in Kevin's spiritual journey. What I wasn't prepared for was the profound change in mine. I began to read more, pray more, and share more about my faith. I witnessed God's grace in the many blessings Kevin's formation process was bringing to my life and our marriage. This past June marked the fifth anniversary of Kevin's ordination. It has been a privilege and a blessing for me to witness his journey as a deacon and to share with him the challenges and joys which it brings. I've seen his words and actions comfort, inspire, and move others time and again. Often, this has been within our own family, which is nothing short of miraculous. Being the wife of a deacon affords many blessings, but it also brings responsibility. My first responsibility is to continue to pray and discern how God is leading me in my role as a deacon's wife. My responsibility to Kevin is to give him loving, truthful, and prayerful support. I have a responsibility to family, friends, fellow parishioners, and strangers to share with them my faith through my words and actions. Finally, I have a responsibility to myself to continue to grow in and be fed by my faith. Thank you.